Hello, this is Amjad al-Mandilawi from Baghdad, Iraq, presenting another case of CTO PCI with a previous failure. The case also demonstrates how to cross a difficult lesion. The case is a 52-year-old male who is hypertensive, diabetic, smoker with COPD on inhaler therapy. He was referred to us for PCI to LID after failed attempt. Patient also has PLV totally occluded. He has angina on exertion and echocardiography showed mild anterior hypokinesia with an ejection fraction of 55. The angio shows a totally occluded mid-LID artery. Dual injection in AP cranial view identifies the situation. The LID receives blood flow from epicardial collateral from the distal RCA. There is also some ipsilateral collateral flow supplying the artery near the distal cap. The stem is a blunt and there is a septal branch nearby. The lesion length is less than 20 mm and there does not appear to be much calcification. So we started with a caravel microcatheter and the cross it 100 wire. This maneuver showed another characteristics of the CTO, which is some tortuosity inside the lesion. It was, it was difficult to cross the distal cap with cross it 100. So we use the parallel wire technique. The second wire was Gaia second. It seems that it punctured the distal cap, but entered into a branch. The wire was redirected to the LED and it passed easily. And here comes the other benefit of dual injection. The wire was actually in the wrong place. What we did at this time is that we de-escalated the wire to pilot 50 and we are able to navigate the tortuosity in the lesion and in the track that was created by the previous wire and so entered the true lumen. A note to be taken about dual injection is that in a longer procedure, always use a guiding cath and put a safety wire in the donor vessel so that if anything happens, you have enough time to pass a balloon or a stent to treat any dissection in the donor vessel. This is another review to confirm the intraluminal course of the wire. Crossing the lesion failed. It failed even by the initial microcatheter that you used and using balloon 1.5 and then 1.2 and the smallest balloon we had 1.8, we couldn't cross the lesion even after using guide extension. So here we face a situation of balloon and crossable lesion, and we utilized most of the algorithms of balloon and crossable lesion except anchoring. We thought that the lesion is not much calcified and that failure of a crossability was due to tortuosity inside the lesion. So we use a new Corsair Pro X135 and with some manipulation and rotation, we're able to cross the lesion. The microcatheter passed in and out several times to make a track for ballooning. Further ballooning was easier and was done sequentially. This was followed by stenting with a good final result, although some di small diagonal was jeopardized. So the messages from this case is that dual injection is of utmost importance in CTOs, both to characterize the lesion and to assert in wire position after crossing. Sometimes de-escalation of the wire is needed when a track is created. In balloon and crossable lesions, a microcatheter can create a track for the balloon to cross, and thank you.